Hey everybody, it's Bob, Bob's Outdoors. Uh, just uh, checking in. You know, one of the last videos I did, uh, we talked about a uh, big project happening around here. Um, that big project is actually going to be a 40 by 60 pole shed. And uh, today, uh, we finally got all clear, good to go, all that. So uh, that happened yesterday. We finally got word. Um, everything is good to go. So I've been busting tail today. <laughs> we, I took out these two big oaks here. Um, they don't look very big there, but uh, anyway, took those two out today. Uh, that was a lot of work, but uh, and the wind, the wind's gone way down now, but the wind was a little sketchy there, so uh, it was a little tricky. I mean, it looks further than what it is, but I mean, the house is right here, so I did not want that, this one closest right here to fall this way. Um, but we got it done. Um, everything was good to go. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, that little tractor right there saves my tail. Um, gee, man, Christmas. But, uh, I mean, yesterday we worked cattle all day um, across the road where I have my steers. And uh, um, we used it moving on uh, hay bales. We used it moving fence panels. I mean, um, what else did we do with it? Uh, oh, we pushed in a grain cart. Um, gravity, gravity wagon, I guess it was. But uh, anyway, um, but, I mean, this is the pile that I got. So far out of two trees, I got this pile right here. Um, it's kind of hard to tell how much is there, I guess. But uh, it's quite a bit. Um, so we got that. We got these big logs over here. Um, all of these are probably, well, I guess they're all different. But uh, that one's kind of a big gnarly one there. And we've got this one. Um, that's going to be a good firewood log. That one won't be too bad. That one's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, I wish I had a boiler system. That'd be good boiler wood. But, uh, then we've got these over here. Um, this one in the back right here, that is like a perfect saw log. Um, I'm going to try to sell that one. It's, it's oak. Um, should be a pretty good board, I think. Uh, or a <laughs> pretty good log, I think, for for a sawmill uh, there's really no rod in it at all looks good um, this is just I threw these two on there because they were a little longer I think this this one right here is about 15 foot and that one's even longer but uh, oh, I had my son out here helping me and and uh, he was dragging branches away as I cut them and then uh, just so I had room to get beside the log to cut the branches off and then um, we got it done so but yeah, um, going back over here. Uh, so I took out my posts, my little marking posts here. But um, so the corner, you can still see the little orange mark here. This will be the one corner. And then the other corner of the shed is going to be right about where that, that stump is, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to have that one dug out. And then the other corner is back there right where that tall pine is um so i'm probably gonna have to have that one dug out too um uh, but uh and then back behind this little flatbed here there's another stake um, where that corner the north corner will be too but uh um i kind of messed all my lines up today i had it all measured out and, uh, staked out and all of that but dropping these trees I had to move all of that I just about fell down there but uh oh. but yeah so there will be a front porch on the building that sticks out right in here um so right up there is the corner and comes down down here um the corner of the shed you can still see my orange paint here is going to be right in here um but then there's going to be a 12 12 by 18 little little front porch right here so these flags 
look down here. Um, that is where the edge of the dirt dry or uh, grade, I guess, for the shed, but driveway. You can see how it angles in off the other driveway and then comes around and goes in and then my gate to go out in that north uh, field is over there so i didn't want to block that off uh, so that way i can get in there but uh well yeah it's i'm excited uh it's just so nice to finally have all the stuff with the bank and all that crap done i hate dealing with that stuff but uh um should be good to go uh as far as that goes now so gonna meet uh, the builder tomorrow um, at overhead door to pick out the the big overhead doors um, here's that corner so this is looking from the north to the south here so um, so yeah these flags over here are basically the builder needs 10 feet around the building so you can see my stake is there I'll back up here a little bit so you can see a little better the stake is there flags are there so I'm gonna have basically about a 10 foot area around the building. Um, he needs that for his lift to get around the building so he's got plenty of room to work there. But uh, so like these big pines here, these gotta come down. That one there, that big oak, that's gotta come down. Um, yeah, so I still have a lot of trees that gotta get dropped, but uh, with the wind today, I had to wedge everything. I couldn't uh, uh, feller, feller wedge it, I guess I, I should say. Um, it was a little tough playing the wind because nothing was nothing was uh, working out as far as the direction I needed it to go. I had a certain sequence I needed to drop these trees so that I had room. And uh, in order to do that, I had to use some felling wedges to get things to go the way I wanted them to go here. But uh, anyway um but yeah so uh and you guys are probably gonna ask about the graves here unfortunately there's really not a lot i can do about that uh, i i hate it but uh we've got our our two labs um that we lost here um well we lost the tank right there uh he was the our big yellow lab uh, that we had for years and he just got old and we had to put him down and then hazel uh this one right here uh she was still a pup and she ended up getting parvo um kind of a freak deal we took her in to get spayed and she picked up parvo at the vet and uh ended up passing away it was horrible but uh anyway they're buried right here um so unfortunately they're going to be buried a little deeper um i don't know if that's good or bad but they're going to be under about probably about four to five feet of dirt here um but you know what i mean we're not going to disturb them they're just going to be a little deeper so there's nothing i can do about that though but this was really the only way it was going to work out so uh, i guess it is what it is but uh anyway um yeah it's uh and i'm gonna lose a little bit of my trail down through here i guess but uh that's okay um we need a shed so bad it's getting getting uh getting pretty bad uh my little sheds back there uh, back in the back back there they're packed to the top i mean uh we need to uh ooh, look wildlife yeah it's just logo but uh uh we need to get uh some stuff sorted out we still have boxes in some of those sheds that we haven't even unpacked from two years ago just because we don't have room for this stuff so uh, it's a big house but I mean, we don't have a basement under it, um, and that's okay with me. <laughs> we, the house that we had before this, we had so many water issues um, that I did not want to deal with the basement. So anyway, um, we're good to go there too, but uh, it's going to be a short video. I'm shot. I've been busting butt today, but uh, um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. So uh, I'm excited to share it as it goes along, and... Uh, Hopefully, another couple months we'll have some posts in the air and uh, get things moving. But, uh, you know, I mentioned going to overhead door tomorrow with the uh, the contractor. Um, doors, I don't know if you guys are aware or if it's like that in your area, but supposedly the overhead doors around here are 22 to 26 weeks 
behind. So if I order them today, we're looking at like five months. Um, I, I don't know. I, I hope that's right, but uh, five to six months, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's nuts, but uh, I just don't understand. But uh, it is, like I keep saying, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. But um, we do have to have the power company come in. We've got our main service box right there. We've got to upgrade that so we have room on the panel or for the service for the shed too. So, um, but yeah, that's about it for now. Um, I don't know my junk around here. The place looks like I've been, uh, like I've got a junkyard right now, but it's going to have to be that way. My wife's already worried about the trucks coming in. It's going to take, the dirt guy told me, 20 to 25 side dump trailer loads of dirt to build that up um, high enough for the shed. So, yeah, fun, fun, fun. More money, but... Like I keep saying, it'll be cool. I just got to keep reminding myself of that. So, but uh, I'm going to keep it short. Uh, if uh, there's anything you guys want to talk about or, or uh, have any comments for me or any ideas for me on this shed project, let me know in the comments down below. I, I love reading that stuff. So um, for now, uh, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that bell icon so you can see everything that gets put out new. I don't I don't put out a video every day or anything like that. The guys that follow me already know that. But uh um but yeah, so it's uh homestead life and and all of it that goes with it, I guess. But uh uh we'll keep it short here and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.